This morning, a humanitarian crisis is growing in a corner of Central Asia. More than 68,000 ethnic Armenians have now fled the region of Nagorno-Karabakh, which was seized by neighboring Azerbaijan last week. That is about a third of the population in the region. And now there are claims of ethnic cleansing of the people who are left behind. Joining me with a closer look at what is happening is former president of the International Association of Genocide Scholars, Henry Terrio. Good to have you on the show today. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nagorno-Karabakh is home to fewer than 150,000 people. What has been such a source of contention? Um, it's a great question. Um, actually, uh, this area had been home to Armenians for uh, many thousand years, um, going back into ancient history, and uh, is, is one of the sort of cradles of Armenian civilization and culture, uh, religion, and so forth. Um, in the 1920s, Joseph Stalin made the decision as part of a general policy in the Soviet Union to create ethnic conflict, um, to put the Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh under the official rule of Azerbaijan, which is a distinct uh, uh, national ethnic group um, that had, had been hostile to Armenians uh, for some time. Um, the reason for that was to create ethnic conflict among different minority groups within the Soviet Union to force them to be loyal to the new Soviet government. Um, both those min smaller groups um, had to depend on, the, on Moscow to survive, and larger groups had to depend on Moscow not to give too much power to the smaller groups to destabilize their power in, in very local uh, contexts. Um, and then uh, through the Soviet Union, uh, the Armenians uh, were treated badly in Nagorno-Karabakh for obvious reasons. Um, and then by 1988, uh, which is as the Soviet Union started to break up, uh, there were still 200,000 Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh and, and maybe half a million in Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. As the Soviet Union broke up, um, Azerbaijan unleashed a campaign of ethnic cleansing against Armenians, massacring them in some places such as Baku and Sumgayit in Azerbaijan and expelling all the others in Azerbaijan. There are no Armenians in Azerbaijan at this point. Mm -hmm. They also tried to um, ethnically cleanse Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh, but they resisted and a war resulted. There was a stalemate by 1994, uh, which held until 2020 when Azerbaijan, which is a very oil rich country, uh, was able to use the military that it built up, including very sophisticated drones and, and other kinds of weaponry uh, to attack the Armenians in that region. Um, and this time, uh, Armenians were just overmatched militarily. Uh, the war lasted really six weeks, um, and Azerbaijan was able to take a lot of territory. There were still about 120,000 Armenians left. Um, and unfortunately, uh, in the three years since then, Azerbaijan has kept up the pressure. Nine months ago, it instituted a blockade of, of these Armenians, mm -hmm. um, blocking the one road. And uh, and then uh, when that blockade did not drive all the Armenians out um, last week, it launched a full scale military attack. I have to ask you about these rumors, Mr. Terrio, yeah. of ethnic cleansing that are circulating on social media. What do you know? What are you hearing? What is happening? Um, this there has been a campaign of ethnic cleansing, as I said, back into the 90s. Um, Turkey, uh, which committed genocide against the Armenians in 1915, has continued uh, hostility against Armenians, has been fully involved as well. And uh, the leaders of both countries have made it very clear they want Armenians gone from this area. They will kill them or drive them out. Uh, it, it, either way, um, no Armenians will be left in this area. Henry Terrio, so we appreciate is, your time. Yeah, and obviously this is a very complicated issue with lots to say. Hopefully we can have you back on and dive a little deeper. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.